What's up guys, welcome back to the secret channel, secret channel gang. What's up everybody? Two videos ago, we got a thousand views and last video we got 800 views. So it's getting even more exclusive. That's pretty dope. Even more exclusive. <laughs> um, I've been doing uh, Call of Duty stuff, but uh, I, I've been having, I had like a Minecraft kick. So I have a hardcore world that I've, I've been on for a very long time. I don't, I don't think I have enough time to dive back into that world, and I don't have a, like a server with any, with anybody's besides uh, one with Alexis. But we usually, I usually save that one for date nights. You know, you know how it is. Long term, long distance relationship. Uh, we play in some Minecraft. Uh, so I, I hopped on a uh, a hardcore. Always got to do it a little hardcore. Uh, one block sky block. So if you guys never seen it, you break the block below you. It gives you a new block, and then you just kind of. You just kind of play Minecraft off of that, so uh, that's going to be on in the background. And uh, I figured Minecraft video, uh, one block sky block on Fridays, Call of Duty on Mondays. I, I, that kind of works, right? I think that kind of works. In the last video, I asked you guys to ask questions, and good golly, you guys asked a lot of questions. I really appreciate it. That means uh, I w I didn't know how many of the clicks were real. You know, like it was a thousand a thousand views, but like were those actual people? You know what I mean? Were the <laughs> Uh, were those actual people? And it turns out they were. So I got a ton of questions and, um, and I can, I can answer a few of those here. The only problem with doing these kind of questions is that they're all about me. You know what? I, well, I mean, obviously it's like, what do you, you know, what do you watch or what do you do? And, and I, eventually I want to ask, uh, you know, answer questions that you guys might have about yourself, I guess. Does that make sense? I don't, not, not saying I give like good advice or anything, but I can, I can talk through some shit. I'm pretty good at talking through through some stuff. This was the sketchiest little waterfall. You gotta, you gotta drop down and place a block underneath the, uh, the block. And then I kind of got stuck right here and I was like, Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do in the future is answer one question from the comment section. So if you have like a casual question, yeah, put it down in the comments and uh, and let's talk about it. But if you have something a little bit more uh, serious, and you want to be a little bit more anonymous about it, I made a Gmail account. So it's kind of like relationships 101. Um, but uh, you know, that that series kind of kind of died out. And uh, so I'm kind of bringing something like that. But it doesn't have to be exclusively about relationships. It can be about anything. I mean, we've got a We've even got some deep stuff in the in the comment section from last video. So if you want to ask some serious questions, you can and I'll, you know, I guess tell you what I think. And then also people in the in the comment section can can uh, chime in as well. I think I think that's a pretty good way of doing things. So from the last video, Tori asks, what's something that you've been struggling with recently? I feel like we are all kind of adults now and I'd like to hear what other people are struggling with. I'm struggling with finding meaning in my life and finding work that I actually might enjoy. Uh, just to tune in, uh, to, to chime in on the first part, uh, I feel like, I kind of feel like we're all adults now. That's, that's really, that's a funny thing to think about because I'm sure there's a lot of people on here, you know, especially if you, if somehow you found the secret channel that you've been watching YouTube for a really long time, you've probably been watching, you know, Optic or Call of Duty for a very long time. And it, in, in a way, it kind of did seem like we all grew up together. I mean, I was watching, I was watching Call of Duty or I was watching YouTube when I was 15 and I'm about to turn 29. So yeah, it kind of does feel like we all grew up together. And when we first started watching, we didn't have that many issues <laughs> or at least some of us didn't. Um, but life does hit you fast and, and it does hit you hard. Uh, something that I'm kind of struggling with right now is patience. Uh, I'm I find myself becoming less patient with life and which in turn makes me less patient with people. And, and it's kind of frustrating, uh, you know, thinking about it now because it's something that I've always strived, you know, to be in my life is, is a very like personable person and, and some, somebody that, you know, people enjoy being around and somebody that people like, you know, hanging out with and watching and, uh, you know, or not watch, not watching in a creepy way, but watching in like, if we're talking about, you know, content, <laughs> but I always, I always strive to be that person. And I feel like as of lately, I have not been, and it's because there's a lot of stuff going on and, and you know, that's, there's no excuse for that because I know at the end of the day, there's no reason to be impatient because whatever, 
you know, what I know I'm capable of and what I know uh, is going to happen is going to happen anyway. So as long as you're hardworking and as as long as, you know, you're striving to be the best, I'm talking to myself here, so as long as I'm striving to be the best that I can, then there's no reason to stress out about timing. Like it's going to happen and you know it's going to happen and, you know, just keep at it. And that's something that I've been struggling with uh, a little bit lately. And Tori, as far as what you were saying with, you know, struggling to find meaning in your life and finding work that you might actually enjoy, um, it's it's very hard to give uh, a, a sense of relief of advice or talking about, you know, it, it's hard to talk about that and imme- give immediate relief. Um, but one thing that I will say is that you are definitely not alone in that feeling. It's a feeling that most of us have all felt before. I know I've I felt it before. And millions, if not bi- probably billions of people around the world are also feeling the same thing. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if I have uh, enough knowledge on this to give advice, but one thing that I would say is just find something that you're very patch- passionate about. See if there's, if there's something to do. It's never too late to switch career paths. It's never too late or too early to, to start thinking about your future because you do only get one life. And I think happiness, happiness with yourself and happiness with your family and the people around you, depending on your situation. I mean, that's like, that's like the most important thing. Like there shouldn't be anything more important than that, than the happiness of your life and the happiness of the people around you. And I come from a pretty privileged stance in order to be able to say that right now, but I haven't always been, you know, um, there was, there was a time when I knew what made me happy and I did what I, you know, needed to do and what I could do in, in order to, to make that a possibility. I, I worked a job I didn't like and, and I worked for free, uh, in, in tried to make myself useful in, in the, uh, in the scene that I was basically obsessed with until things fall, fell into place. And you're going to have to get lucky. But the thing is, is you're going to have to make that luck happen. (laughs) You know, the the doors aren't going to present themselves all the time for you. But you just have to be prepared for when that door does come along, that you walk through it and you walk through it with confidence. And uh, that's kind of that's kind of the go to um, advice that I give always in that situation. The uh, next question is from Zero Flux. He says, keep dreaming up these sick competitive tournaments. Uh, soon the league will be begging you to run the all-stars and off-season stuff. Is that something you'd be down to do? Um, I definitely overshot myself this October with the off-season tournaments. I mean, I am. that's literally all I'm doing is begging people to play in them in their DMs. And if they don't respond, you know, having a majority of people, literally a majority of people um, not respond. So... And, uh, you know, I, f- I feel a lot of pressure towards the charity and a lot of pressure for the uh, for the sponsors and, and the, you know, the, all the other and all the other players that I'm doing everything right. So it's been it's been very stressful. But I mean, some sort of like all star match or something like that would be a dream, man. I would love to do that for the league uh, one of these days. So that's going to do it for the secret channel today. Ask questions in the comments and in the emails and uh, we'll answer them up later. Uh, go kick some ass this weekend. See you guys.